In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can play graphically intensive games like Shadow of the Tomb Raider with the highest settings with a computer like this which I paid $50 for and it doesn't even have a graphics card. Let's get into it. Hey, welcome to Zach's Tech Turf. Today we're going to be taking a look at NVIDIA's GeForce Now streaming service and seeing how it's performing here in late 2018. And if you're new here and you want to see more PC building or PC gaming videos, then hit that subscribe button down below and also that notification bell, that way you never miss an episode. But yeah, let's check this service out. Now I'm sure by now that most of you know what NVIDIA GeForce Now is, I've actually made three other videos on it at this point, but for those of you that don't, let me quickly explain it. GeForce Now basically allows you to rent a super powered gaming PC in the cloud and stream it to your PC like you were playing directly on it. Here you can see that once you're logged into the service, you have access to all of your Steam games as if you were on your own gaming PC, and there's even an option to load in your Battle.net games and Fortnite as well. The really cool part about this service is that all of your games download and update instantly. You don't have to worry about installing drivers or any maintenance or anything like that. Basically, your cloud computer is always 100% ready to go whenever you want a game. It also doesn't matter what computer you're streaming from, because as you can see, today we're playing Shadow of the Tomb Raider with this super budget OEM desktop computer that I paid just $50 for, and it doesn't even have a graphics card. Just for reference, the CPU in this computer is only an i5-2320, and I decided to fire up the in-game benchmarking tool to see what the cloud computer was capable of. Here you can see that we got right around that 60 FPS mark with 1080p in the highest settings, and the game actually looks really good. Now one thing to keep in mind is that in order to play on GeForce Now, you're gonna need a pretty solid internet connection to avoid latency. I actually took a laptop out to the middle of the woods and tethered my 4G connection to the laptop and tested the service, so make sure you check out that video if you haven't already. I also want to note that you can always click your profile up in the top right hand corner of GeForce Now and select test my network. This is about a 20 to 30 second test and NVIDIA will let you know if your connection is solid enough for running the service. Another feature that they added is the ability to select what kind of streaming quality that you want. There's some presets like balance, data saver, and competitive, but there's also a custom option so you can select the exact bitrate, resolution, and frame rate that you want to use. Running a single player game like Shadow of the Tomb Raider is a great experience with the service even if you have a spotty internet connection though. I actually captured this footage here of my internet starting to slow down, maybe my wife was streaming a video when this happened, but GeForce Now automatically knocked the resolution down to 720p and it remained for the most part lag free. You probably probably don't want to play a super competitive game with a slow internet connection, but for a casual game like Shadow of the Tomb Raider, it was a super smooth playing experience. It's pretty crazy that with GeForce Now and a terrible $50 PC, I can play Shadow of the Tomb Raider in 1080p with the highest settings. I also tested the service over the last year with other budget computers like a $200 2-in-1 tablet, and this game streaming service just continues to impress me. If you're interested in checking out this service for yourself, then head on down to the link in the description and get yourself on the waiting list for this free beta. Yes, I've heard that some of you have been waiting for months to get access, but I've also heard that some people get access within a couple of weeks, so just be patient and hope for the best. Well, that wraps up my review of NVIDIA's GeForce Now service with Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Now, feel free to head on over to one of these two videos if you haven't seen them yet, and definitely hit the subscribe button because next week we're benchmarking possibly my favorite game of 2018. You don't want to miss that video.